Okay, we've got a 1999 GMC Sierra pickup here, 1500, and it's got a leaky power steering hose. And the main reason I knew it is because I was getting um, squeaking or grinding a little bit of, it was a little bit tougher when I turned the wheel, uh, especially the, the whining, you can kind of hear it, getting low on fluid, had to replace it notice some leaking dripping and then when i looked in the engine compartment here it was uh, around this area was really splattered with fluid and the pump itself looked good but after we took a look at this hose here we could see that it was cracked here right at the very top of this of this loop here so I went ahead and got a replacement one. Um, there's the number for it. It's a Duralast. And we are now going to install this. I'm not sure what um, years of Sierra this takes or if this works with the uh, um, Silverados too. Or what years this all works for but this is the one that is gonna work in my vehicle here the 99 first thing I'm gonna do to get started here is I'm gonna take this breather tube off and this upper shroud and then I'm gonna loosen the lower section of the shroud because to get to this bolt here um, you need to put the wrench in this direction and that shroud is in the way for sure. So we'll get that bottom loosened up. So there's a screw in that breather tube. I pulled that back. A couple hoses attached to this upper shroud. Um, you just pull right through or one to this and one to the breather tube, pull that through. And then you need a 10 millimeter socket to take this upper shroud off. There's a couple of these plastic clips that hold on the shroud that, that uh, connect the lower to the upper part here. Just want to pull up on this top tab, just pull it straight out and then the whole thing pops out and then it frees it up. As you turn this wrench, to loosen it you got to flip it every time, come back again hook on to it keep turning it around and around not going too bad pretty easy to get to um, just a lot of threads on there getting that lower connection the one behind was by far the worst part of this project so far you can barely turn it uh, maybe an eighth of an inch or I mean uh, eighth of a turn around got to take the wrench off readjust do it again and again and again when I did it the fitting for the pump came out with it so they turned together and it just came along with it so I'm just gonna I just put this in the vise here I separated the two I'm just gonna put this back in the pump again and then we're ready for the next one to go in all right, those guys actually gave me the wrong part here. Here is the one that I actually got for my truck. 80332 is the part number. And it looks a lot different than the other one. Obviously, a lot smaller. Um, definitely know this is the right one. It came with two rubber washers, and you have to put one on either end. You need to lube it up with a little bit of power steering fluid first. And stick them on before you start the assembly process that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna start with the one on the back side the underneath part see if I can't get it down in here get it somewhat started and then go underneath and tighten it with the wrench again and yes this is the worst part of it for sure 
Yeah, putting that bottom one on went pretty slick. Um, it's a lot slicker putting it on than taking it off. And now working on the top one here. Just got to keep switching the wrench back and forth. A little at a time. Easy does it, no hurry. All right, I got the top one in. I got it tightened down. Um, still seeing a couple threads, but I think that's okay. She tightened down good, nice and snug. I don't want to crank on it and be stupid. Um, I think we're ready to test it. Got it running now. Looks good, I don't see anything leaking from below. The one on top here seems good. You just gotta put everything back together. So I ran the truck. I uh, didn't see any leaks anywhere. So probably take a couple days just to make sure I don't have any puddles because I have so much fluid still dripping from the pan and just all these different components. Everything's just been saturated because I had since I had that leak. So. Just have to wait it out but so far so good it looks like it turned out okay um this was a little bit harder than i thought it was going to be the front one not so much but that one in the back is really a pain to get to until you get your body in just the right position you can you can only stick one hand up there at a time i found anyway and it wasn't real easy but it did come out and that the piece that was um in the power steering pump itself that came out with the line and that was okay. I just separated it, stuck it back in the pump. And then when I threaded the line back in, it all tightened up together. So that was no big deal. Um, yeah, it was probably frustrating that the, the guys um, that I got the line from gave me the wrong part to begin with. So um, that added fuel, fuel to the mess for sure. Um, but two bolts basically is all it is. A few things you got to get out of the way up here, but once um, that's done, these are all real simple things to move out of the way. And overall, I would say not too bad. Um, definitely something you can try yourself. Got to have a little bit of um, thrust behind some of this stuff though. A little bit of common sense so you don't cross threads um, some of those, a couple of those bolts going in, but all in all, worked out. See ya.